Although she may not be as well known as the band she was named after, Halen's already following in the paw steps of her champion roomie, Pixel. Pixel has a little fan club, which is super cute. Her breed is, it's not a crazy popular breed. It is gaining popularity. She is an eight-year-old miniature American Shepherd, or they call them miniature Australian Shepherds or mini Aussies. They uh, derive from the Australian Shepherd, which is the larger version. Uh, it's their herding breed. So they were meant to help out on farms and ranches, to help herd cattle and sheep and stuff like that. So they're working ranch dogs. Teeter! Yay! Good girl! Break it! Yay! Woo! Amy Sheffield and her dogs Pixel and Halen compete in a sport called agility. Yeah, let's see if Punk can pump this. Here we go, into the pull. Agility is a sport of getting your dog through an obstacle course as fast as possible and without incurring any faults. So the fastest and cleanest dog wins and they have them separated by height division. So little dogs, medium dogs, big dogs. That way a little dog's not competing against a dog with a mammoth stride. Amy's always been involved with four-legged friends, but it was a much taller version that first held her interest. When I was in fourth grade, my parents got me horseback riding lessons and then I was like, I love this. I did um, paint horses and quarter horses and Appaloosas, so we kind of did all around. So halter, showmanship, uh, western pleasure, western riding, just kind of a little bit of everything. I had won three trophies at Douglas County Fair and they got a really neat picture of me sitting there on my horse uh, and it ended up being an, in color on, um, on the newspaper, I don't know if it was the living section, but my dad went down to the World Herald and bought the photo from them, which is really cool. I had it framed. Yes, girl! Yay. Gradually, you know, as my horse got older, I kind of started getting into the dogs, and I found out that they were much simpler, easier, cheaper uh, to compete and train with and it just kind of was a natural progression into the dog world. Amy began competing in agility in 2004 with her first dog, Neela. I found a little club in Omaha that taught lessons and I took my very first dog there and I was totally hooked. I was like, this is awesome. It's so much fun. It got me out of the house. It let me be active um, and then train my dog. I never thought I would compete. And once I did, I was like, oh, I'm totally hooked now. Here we go. Make sure that as your dog is coming off the line, you connect with them. Nice. Today, Amy not only competes in agility, she oh, teaches oh, classes oh. where she trains her students on how to train their dogs. We've got some stuff to do here to ensure that there is not a collision on course. I love interacting with um, other people. Um, it also adds a little bit of, it, it gets me out of the house more than anything, but then it also lets me challenge other people to positively train their dogs, make sure that they are being kind to their dogs, uh, and making sure that they're rewarding their dogs appropriately, and also having fun. So I do love to challenge individuals, and I love training. I come from uh, a long background of training wide different things. So I just love to be able to teach others and break it down and, and give them the tools that they need to be successful. I've been taking classes from her for probably mm, eight, ten years. Both of my dogs are very, very uh, energetic. They need stimulation, they need mental and physical stimulation, and it, and it helps in the home too. It's a great relationship. And that's where you need to start is at the bottom, is just a foundation and then build the way up. She's experienced, she's uh, super knowledgeable, she's fun, she's upbeat, she makes things logical, so that she really slows things down, breaks it down so that you can be successful each time. We're going to get our hand in that tunnel a little bit to give her that visual yeah. that, hey, by the way, we're turning, because you don't have the luxury of being like, hey, I need you to turn. When people do something correct, you give, give them praise or a high five or yeah. 
really? Um, so so the, the praise that you're giving the person uh, and then also seeing their success is like the reward, the cookie or the toy for the dog. So yeah, there are similarities. Go. You know, it is one of the most challenging things I've ever had to learn in my life because anytime, you know, if you're doing a sport on your own, it's you, but now you've got you and a four-legged creature that needs to know what to do, either on hand signals or verbal signals, so the the level of difficulty um, is up there with anything I've ever had to do in my life. First and foremost, it's all a game for the dog. Like, it should be fun. They're our buddies and our pets first. Oh, yeah. Agility is just something they do. Woo! And you're cute, too. I pick something that I want to train that day, and we work on it for about five to ten minutes. Go! Yay! <laughs> I'm much more... Um, quality over quantity. Uh, I may sometimes only train one day a week. Amy must be doing it right because she and Pixel have won many national championships, including back-to-back -back wins at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Yes, that Westminster. Pixel, the defending champion of the 12-inch class, has also competed internationally representing the United States. You do two runs, a jumpers and a standard. And she had ended up doing very well in both of those, which put us into finals very easily in our height division. And next thing you know, we're in finals and we won. And it was just crazy. And I've never been to an event where there's so many people. Nice. The energy there is just electric. It's just crazy. And she beat three. It's just nice to, to say, hey, cool. You know, we went to New York and we went to Westminster and... You know, we were back-to-back -back champions, which is a, just a really neat thing. Amy's also been a member of the USA World Team, competing in international competitions in Europe. Next up is Pixel. Pixel, a Nebraska fruit bat handled by Amy Sheffield. Once you get out there, it's just the adrenaline and the joy of running with your little teammate out there and saying, I trained my dog to do this. The vast majority of competitors are women in the United States. Are you ready? Go eat. Yeah. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Go, do it, do it. Yeah. There's a lot of older women that compete in agility. It's not a super young person sport. You may, a lot of people think, oh, you have to be young and fit to be able to do this. Um, most of my students are older than I am. Um, some people are not, you know, they don't have to run. You can put verbal words on your dog to send them around the course so you don't have to be there all the time. I get, um, Enjoyment, first of all, I really, I really enjoy it. If I, it's like a hobby. Like my husband says, it's my hobby it, because it's something I can do with Watson. Our kids are moved out of the house. Okay. All right. I'll tell you, my daughter will say, "Why do you humiliate yourself so much?" Because I don't care. It's just, it's fun. A lot of people are excellent. Like Amy is an excellent, excellent competitor. We're not in that level, but uh, you go out, you, you get nervous. I get out there and I kind of get sick and. You get out there, and sometimes I forget the course, but it, but everyone, like I said, it's very encouraging. So it's just a great place to go with a bunch of people all in the same objective, and you learn as you watch. Go, 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 get out, go, go, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Hey. In a sport where enthusiasm runs high in dogs and their humans, it's hard to find a negative. But for Amy. She wishes one thing could be different for her four-legged companions. Probably the biggest disadvantage is they just don't live long enough. Every time I get a dog, I know, you know, this dog's going to bring me so much joy. Oh, they could only just live a little bit longer. 